I've, I've had the awesome privilege of meeting with Pastor Lee and Pastor Matt in a, a group of interracial group of pastors for the last eight months, and uh, it, it's been a it's rocked my world. I, I thought I was always part of the solution, but I realized I, I've been part of the problem. I, I think Lee, one of the things that really got me was when you started our time and said none of you would ever go to a doctor, the first thing they would do with you is say, I want, I want your medical history. They'd never give you, you don't ask for a diagnosis until they know your medical history. They want to know what, you know, what's going before. Do you, do you, did your parents have heart problems? Did they have diabetes? What, what do they have? And he said, we try to diagnose the racial issue without looking at the history. <laughs> and then Lee took us through 300 years of slavery. A hundred years of Jim Crow, 50 years of civil rights, and then the injustice in the criminal system and the inequities in the educational world. And, and you just, if you're a, a white person and have lived as long as I have, you realize I was sitting on the sidelines during a lot of that. Why wasn't I active? What was I thinking? Where was I as a Christian? Why was I not on the front lines? And so anyway, Lee, it's been a, a transforming experience for me, and I, I just can't thank you enough for being so transparent, so vulnerable, so real, and inviting us to grow. I feel like we have made new dear friends, and I'm from the North, and I feel like I have to admit my lack of ignorance of what happened in the South. I'm so sad about it. And I've been able to express that to our new black friends and uh, just to hear their backgrounds and how they even feel treated today and begin to understand their feelings. Uh, it's just totally opened my eyes.